boy, if I fight for my kill head, like, <laughs> we full. So guys, one quick thing before I go into the actual video, I just want to share a little light camera and motivation. You know, Sunday while I was at church, a speaker spoke about Noah and the ark and he was saying that God is saying to us that once we are inside of the ark, then we're safe. But once we are outside, then we're not safe. And what I took from that message was that, you know, it's best for us to be safe than sorry. And it's best for us to be prepared because we don't know when God is going to make his appearance. And it's not only about when he's, he's going to make his appearance, but we don't know when our time is going to come to an end. Because that is a striking, that is a striking. And you know, we don't have an expiration date, so we don't know. So it's not like I know that, to, okay, tomorrow I'm going to die. So it's just best for us to be prepared and live our life the right way, you know, a way in a way that is pleasing to God. Because I'm sure we all want to make it to glory land and we don't want to hear, depart from me, I know you not. So today, just let's examine ourselves. Hey, I'm a God girl, that's who I'll be From the top of my head to the soles of my feet No, I can't deny it, wouldn't even try I'm your girl in a great Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining. Remember to like, comment, and definitely, definitely subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And you'll get notified every time I post. And that just sounds really good to me. So do the right thing and support the channel, man. So from today's title, you can see that I'll be doing a video, Jamaican myths. So these are really things that Jamaicans say. Or we hear, we hear growing up as a child, but we're not really sure if they're true or maybe they're just really not true. But we believe, we did like believe them, like we literally did believe them. So the first one is, if you open umbrella in the house, you're not going to get married. I like people until this day, like I still don't do that. Like I don't open the umbrella in the house. And I know a lot of person that don't do it. Because you know, we people like them just always want to get married. So nobody not do that one there. And like if you're point on a grave, you have to bite your ten fingers or your fingers gonna rotten off. Like up until this day, like I still do that cause me not setting a chance. Like if I go to a cemetery and I point on a grave, like I'm biting my ten fingers because I not taking any chances. And the second one is if you're point on a young pumpkin, then it go and drop off. Like the other day I tried this and it didn't work. The pumpkin never drop off. The pumpkin, it never drop off. And the next one is, if you wash your face with rice water, you have a CWP. Like, <laughs> when I just heard this one, like, I really wanted to try it. I was actually going to try it, but then maybe I said, what if I actually CWP? Like, that maybe now go as intriguing as I thought it would have been. So I never do it. And up with umbrella. So growing up, like, I used to see these things, like, they go in the weirdest place, like, the darkest place, and, like, people always say, I don't be umbrella, so if we see them, like, we're not going to know we near them because I don't be umbrella. But they're really just mushrooms. I've come to know that. And if your foot button not scratch you, that means somebody I got dead. So anytime I hear somebody say, my foot button not scratch me, and who I got dead now. And the next one is... If you give and take back one big something, I'll go grow prior for it. So like when I used to go to primary school, like I used to hear this a lot. Like a give and take back, like something like people always say this. Primary school basic school, like you know. And the next one is if your hand niggle scratch you, then that means you're gonna get some money. Like that's not true, because the amount of time my hand niggle scratch me, me should I reach by no me? Should I reach by no? And the next one is, if somebody step over you, you don't grow. Like, me, me believe this. So if you step over me, like, you better step back over me. Because I'm always say like, if the person step over you, then if you step back over you, so you know, don't grow. So, like, me, like, if you step over me, I have to step back over me. Because me know I don't grow. And the next one is, if you swallow bubble gum, then it's have a tie up your trail. Me still believe this because until today's day, like in my life, me never. Well, one time I accidentally swallowed one, and me, like I cried literally because me think like about gum they're gonna trap me, um, to stop me trap. And um, 
the other one is when rain a fall and sun a shine that means satan and his wife are fight for my kill head like <laughs> we feel bad we we feel bad like and that's it like i don't have any more but i know there are a lot lot yeah i know i leave out a lot so like comment down below some that i leave out and i'll definitely do a part two of it like this time i'll actually do a part two and um, yeah pinky promise come where pinky promise yeah say that you now go comment down below and tell me what me leave out yeah Alright, so thanks for watching guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe and do all them good stuff there. And stay tuned, like, keep in touch because I'll be posting. I'll be posting. So, bye!